Hey guys, Mike, Iron Trap Garage, and today is the day the 34 Cabriolet comes off the frame table. I'm sure Matt is very excited to no longer have this on the frame table in the way. Um, so I brought all the stuff from my house and from the warehouse. I got a rear, front axle, the wishbones, all the wheels and tires that I've had stashed for a while. So today we're going to work on putting the suspension together, and we're going to move this over to lift, pick it up off the frame table, set it down on the suspension for the first time ever. So. Pretty excited, we got a bunch of work to do, so let's get started. Put your tire in, put your wheel in there, outside first. And then you gotta tilt the thing, you can tilt it up and down, you match the, the wheel. Oh. And then you hold the, whichever one shows the, that one, all the way to the right, I think. Hold it in, and it'll grab. Just let it do it. There you go. Try to spin the wheel 180 and do it again because it's crusty tires. It's gonna be a fun one. It's great for the portal, right? Oh yeah. Oh that air is very smelling. This might be one you have to cut off. It's really rock hard. There you go. Just like that, kids. And then the back side, you might be able to get. Put it on a tire machine? Yeah, if you get it, get this bead peeled off, and then you might be able to, if it. Probably put the whole thing on the tire machine. You fold it over still, you're not over the, you're, you gotta be, you gotta get the lip over this. Yeah. Because sometimes when they're shitty. Ready? Not yet. It's carrying the tire. You're not. Yeah. The bead is actually ripped. That's good. On this one or something. It's turn it. Turn. Spin the wheel. Keep going. Yeah. The the metal bead actually broke on this. You didn't even have to cut this one. Alright, it's gonna work way better now. Try it. Go ahead. There you go. Once you get it over that. There you go. Yeah, that one, the, the metal bead ripped for you. It rusted, it rusted apart. Great. <laughs> I have to cut it. One less tire to cut, I'm happy with Exactly. That's how it's supposed to go.
so since we are using a, it's like a 37 to 40 rear end, um, we're using that rear spring for it. Um, it's a reverse size spring, so I'll get a little bit of drop out of it, but it does not fit the 33 for rear cross member, which is meant for a curb spring. So I put the spring in the cross member like you saw. I marked out an area right here where it's uh, hitting. There's some interference. So I'm going to take a grinder, shave a little bit off, and we'll bring uh, the cross members out here. We'll test fit it and keep grinding to get a good fit so we don't over take too much material off. So let's get the grind in and we'll make this thing fit.
and flip it. That's the ticket. You're really close to touching there. Most of the cars, you, you end up hitting the tire to, to something before you get to that. Yeah, reaming it'll won't be bad. That only takes a minute or two. Yeah. Keeping pressure on it. Yeah. There it's starting to go. Go get down. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. That's it.
baby. <coughs> Time has come. That was 45 minutes to an hour worth of grinding. <coughs> but, <coughs> go ahead now. All right, I'm at you. Keep an eye on the rear to make sure there's a grinding. Okay. Nope, it's off the frame rails on the rear. Go ahead. I'm at you. Go ahead. Alright, hold that. Yep. Gotta stick the cup in there. The two clamps. So hold that on. She's in. 
Wow, I wish the rear would have went that easy. Jesus. Seriously, that, fuck, that thing just about put itself in. <laughs> uh, where are the two nuts for the... Yeah, I got them right over oh. here. Yep. <coughs> Three hours on the rear, three minutes on the front. Mm hmm. Funny, funny when it works like that, isn't it? Oh, baby. She's on rubber. She's sitting on rubber, Mike. Oh, it's, is it off the lift? Oh, yeah. She's sitting on rubber. <coughs> She's got a good rape to her, that's for sure. Mm hmm. Oh, that steering rod actually has tons of room. Look at that shit. It is set down the rod. Today was a success. Um, it's on all four tires. I can't believe it. It's a pretty neat day. She looks pretty with the 34 grill hanging on the front. Um, the rear spring fought us a bunch. Uh, I messed up. I test fitted it on a 32 rear cross member, which has more arch to it. Um, a 33.4 is a little bit flatter. Um, so there was probably some differences there. And I also test fit the spring with it off of the rear. When you put it on the rear, it flattens out more. So there's all kinds of problems. I had to do some grinding. I don't know what, an hour's worth of extra Easy. grinding. Easy. And it popped right in there after some test fitting of up and down, up and down. Thankfully, we had the lift, or the, uh, yeah, the lift. It wasn't too bad. Went pretty well. Front end's all together, rear's all together. There's a bunch of work we can do now. Uh, I need to put the engine and trans in and make uh, engine mounts because we are using a, like a 37, which is like a 59AB, the water mount, or the, Engine mounts are on the side of the water pump, so it's not going to use the stock location. Uh, we're going to do a B-pillar brace like Matt just did in the Sweetheart Roadster in this because there's still some flex to the uh, B-pillars. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff we can do. I mean, there's torque tube needs to be shortened. Um, the list goes on and on. So there's a bunch of videos we need to do on this before we take it apart to paint and put everything together for the final time. So thanks guys for watching. We appreciate it. And I uh, can't wait to do all the fun stuff on this thing.